Now we're going into the virgin birth. And we're going to Luke chapter 1 for that. We, we did the, what was the first one, just deity. The deity and then the humanity. This one was humanity. And now this one is now the virgin birth. In Luke chapter 1. Do we have it? Amen. Someone read verse 26 and 27. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph in the house of David. I mean, now, wait a minute. Look at this. He said he went to a virgin, a spouse to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Mother, if she's a virgin, how she get pregnant? Do them two things go together? What you say? The Holy Ghost got her pregnant. Oh, that's who did that? Is she right here? Mmm. So it wasn't a natural pregnancy. Supernatural. Now, what about where it said he? Joseph was a spouse to Mary. To be her husband? Soon to be married or something? They wasn't married, was they? No. They wasn't married. They were engaged. But back in those days, people who got engaged, Sister Finley, still had to have a paper on it. Like you do when you get married. Yeah, they had to have it. What you did? You get one for when you got engaged? No. Okay. They had to have them. They had to have them when they got engaged. Right. And there was a contract. Is that right, Chair? Because he couldn't touch her as long as they were until they got married. That's what the contract said. Yeah. So he said he had to put her away privately because they wouldn't marry. When she was pregnant. He, he thought she had. Yeah, but you, you, you leave him where I'm at. I'm, I'm really trying to get you to see what this word expouse means. That's what I'm talking about. He wasn't married. They weren't married at the time. Yeah, but just like the, the, the uh, what am I t uh, saying, uh, Sharon? Yeah. It was, they were under a contract. That under this engagement, they couldn't, they couldn't do anything together. Exactly. It was just an agreement. I've always thought a spouse is my wife. You said ex My wife. No. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Huh? My wife. My wife. No. My wife. 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 This is a spouse. Okay. Not a spouse. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and there were certain things that they couldn't do. Right. Under this uh, uh, ex spouse. Right. So, I, I, I really want you all to see it because you know that he didn't have anything to do with her getting pregnant. Right, Leah? Mm. Huh? Yeah. You said it mighty soft. Did not. I said, yeah. Bless your house. Okay, and and so it just it 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 blesses me when I see things like this because it continually uh, gives you to know that Jesus is who He said He was, and He didn't just say it; He proved it. Amen. And didn't just prove it; He lived it. Oh, come on, y'all. Yeah. yeah. To be a what? An example for us. Right? 
Who was that saying? You take Jesus, give me Moses or something like that, man. Who was that? <laughs> oh, that was the uh, the Pharisees. I yeah, it said something like, <laughs> said, uh, like Abraham you take Jesus, Zaphon. give us Moses or something. Say Abraham was our father. He said before Abraham was I am. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, okay, where we at? Uh, when you stop reading this? We read 26 and 27. Someone else, 28 and 29. Ain't that, ain't that a beautiful enunciation? Who, who was that that told her this, uh, Michelle? What is the angel called of good tidings? Anybody know who I'm talking about? Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah. See? Go ahead and read the next one. So she didn't understand it right away. Huh? What if you're at home and all of a sudden the Lord uh, uh, manifests something to you like that? We may be in the same situation. Yeah, we would be in the same situation. Amen. See? Okay, you all. 30 and 31. Someone else. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. For you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son. And you shall call his name Jesus. The greatest thing that could happen to you and I is that we can find favor with our God. Yeah. Huh? Unmerited favor. And we all have it. I got faith. What can I find in that? Uh, that that is a major blessing that God gives to His people. Mm-hmm. Favor. <coughs> and I told you all a while back about it. I, I believe you forgot it. You remember me? <coughs> Wasn't it in in uh, Proverbs? Huh? It's right on the tip of my tongue. Uh, I'll get it and give it to you. Uh, so now we're in uh, what, 32 and 33? Right. Someone read it. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of Jesus. High unto the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. The name Jesus. What does that name mean? Savior. Savior. Savior? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. So it wasn't an earthly name, was it? No. No. Uh Uh-huh. And he shall be son of the most high. The most high. Huh? If he's God, how could David be his father? <laughs> I'm, I'm asking you, Father. Huh? Wait a minute, I'm asking Pop. You said what? Spirit. Okay, tell him, Justin. Huh? All through his earthly lineage. So, 
through his flesh. What did we say? Oh, you talking about okay, naturally. He has he has three titles, Mel. What are they? Son of God. Son of God. The Son of Man. Son of Man. Man. And the Son of David. And Son of David. How was he son of David? Because he. No, because you got the bloodline. That's how you know. He came through the bloodline. See, that's what I keep telling you over here. A lot of us can get confused when we, get, when we come to church. I get in the Bible, try to study the Bible, and we're not spiritually. Yeah. We study it naturally. And, and you ain't gonna get it. It can't, it, it can't bring anything but confusion because you're not doing the things that you should be doing to keep you in where you need to be in the spirit. Amen. And to look at this naturally, you'll never get it. Yeah. Where did we stop? 34? 33. Okay, read 33 and 34 somewhere. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. In his kingdom, there will be no end. What is the house of Jacob? Three, three short words. Nation of Israel. Pardon me? You said it's the house of Jacob. The nation of Israel. Did you say that was the house of Jacob? Yes, yeah, the nation yeah. of Israel. Okay, yeah. He's talking about all of his people. Read, read the next one, then. And it says, And Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I do not know a man? See? Now, what is she saying in this word? She never did anything. You know, she never did. She was never intimate with a man. So, she like, how could I get pregnant? If I've never been intimate. See what she's saying, Pop? How can I be pregnant? Oh, yeah. Right. She's never been. She's a virgin. Well, again, because again, what are you talking about? I know that, but he talking that. Well, she is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because right at this point, she's not understanding. She doesn't have a spiritual understanding of it. How can this be? Seeing that I know not a man. To know a man means to have a relationship with him. That's right. Ain't that a relationship? Okay. Okay. All right. We all, I'm telling you, that's how we got here, y'all. 35 and 36. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that Holy, holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And so what is this verse called? What is this called? This is the spiritual entity. This is where uh, uh, he's telling us exactly what's going to happen, how it happened. Yeah. He said the Holy Ghost has to come, over, come upon you. And when he comes upon you, the power of the highest shall overshadow you. And that holy thing which will be born of you will be called <coughs> Son of God in capital letter. Amen. So the, the previous verse said uh, uh, about David. Right. Son of David. So that's what we say. It's so the Son of God. Son of man and son of David. Those are the three things we should be concerned about concerning Jesus and us. Son of God, son of David, son of man. He was all three of them. Okay, someone wrap it up, the last couple of verses. What do you want, 36? 36 and 37. 
also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her who was called. So what is so significant about this verse, Michelle? Come on, say something. It is, but what's so significant about the word she just read? It said, your cousin Elizabeth has also conceived. I mean, why, why he got to tell her about somebody else get, getting uh, pregnant? Well, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> but it's a little more to it than that. It's because, it's because she's older and she was said, they were saying she was barren. Right. It's a miracle. Yeah, it's a miracle. Oh, come on, y'all. <laughs> it's a miracle. How can someone barren have a, 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 a child? Only God can do that. Can't happen. This is a miracle. So, after he says what he does up to this point, and then bring this in to really just put the icing on the cake. <clears throat> he said, even your cousin, Elizabeth, in her old age, who's bearing, is going to have a son. The same thing can happen with you, a miracle. And his name will be what? John. John. And what does John mean? Good. Huh? Don't say it. Let me, let me try to find it. Don't say it. Well, come on. You heard it before. I know you know. The name John means like a dove. <laughs> to be like a dove. And that's why God used him so much, so awesomely, in he, as he was growing up. Because he was like a dove. And, 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 and we, we, did we do that lesson? On the, 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 uh, why would God choose a dove? Uh, Jonah. Jonah's name means the same thing. Jonah. Yeah. yeah, everybody was wondering, why would God just want to send Jonah down to Nineveh? Because all the attributes of a dove was in him. Just like it's, in, it's going to be in John. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and this gives you to be able to see and know how God uses particular people in particular ways. Right. Because of the things that he's planted in them. See, John wasn't a natural baby. He was filled with the Holy Spirit from birth. From the womb. Yep, from the womb. It's like Jesus was. Amen. So John and Jesus was what? Brothers? They cousins. Yeah. Cousins. They cousins? Yeah. Cousins. <laughs> yeah. See, Mary and, and, and Elizabeth were cousins. So they were also. Yeah. 37 and 38. Wrap it up. All right. 37 says... For with God nothing will be impossible. And then Mary said, Behold the maid servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. For with God, nothing some things can be impossible, nothing mother. Nothing Did you know that? Nothing shall be impossible. Huh? Nothing. nothing should be impossible. Write it down. Jesus said the same thing. <laughs> what you said? <laughs> no thing. No thing. Oh, no thing will be can impossible. be impossible, yeah. With God. There's nothing too big for him to handle. Right. Oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. All right. So we got uh, a little bit of that. Let's move on. Uh, Isaiah chapter 7. Book of Isaiah, chapter 7. Got to say amen. amen. Everything we just read about in Luke and John, now Isaiah is prophesying on it.
Someone read verse 10 and 11. We in uh, Isaiah 7. Seven. Verse 10 and 11. Say, Moreover, the Lord spoke again and unto Ahab, saying, 11 said, Ask thee a sign of the Lord, that God acted either in the depths or in the height above. Someone else, 12 and 13. But Ahab said, I will not act, neither will I tempt the Lord. 13 said, And he said, Hear ye now, O house of David. Is it a small thing for you to weary men, but will you weary my God also? Oh, my goodness. You weary my God also. Next two. Mm -hmm. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Fifteen says, butter, butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to the rich. Refuse, refuse <clears throat> and choose the good. You see, this was prophesied by Isaiah way before it happened. Right. Uh -huh. Okay, did Isaiah come before John or after John? Before. You said come before God. <laughs> before John. That's before John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, this is Old Testament. Okay. It was prophesied in that, from Isaiah all the way up through John. It's just not manifested. Coming to happen. It's, it's actually happening in what we just got to read. But I wanted you to see that it was prophesied years and years before it came. Yeah. If the Lord tell you he'll bless you, it, it may not come when you want it. Right. Yeah, but it'll always be. Oh, oh, what don't you say? <laughs> May not happen when you want it to happen. Always be on time. See? And, and Isaiah prophesied about this. That's why I want you to see. Where we at? Uh, 14? Oh, we read 14 and 15. Okay. Uh, his name shall be called Emmanuel. Shall, what does it mean? The name Emmanuel. See, because you got two of them in the Bible. You got Emmanuel, and this is I, I, I Emmanuel. This, this name here is proof that the baby to be born will be God with us. Oh. That's what this yeah. Hebrew name means. Emmanuel means, Fox, God is with us. Huh? That's why he said his name shall be called Emmanuel. God. But when you got over John, he said his name would be called Jesus. Savior. Right? Yes. Okay, I don't think that. He's God and he's, he's God. the Savior. And he will be God our Savior. Yeah. That means Jesus. But this name Emmanuel means God with us. That's what that's what uh Michelle told us. He is God with us. See? All right. Again, go to chapter 9. Turn over to chapter 9. Okay, yes. We with Isaiah 7. We're going back to 7 now. No, we finished with that. I just want you to see that. Isaiah chapter 9. And these will bag it up. You in chapter 9? Amen. And look what it says in verse 6 and 7. Someone read that. Uh, verse 6 says, For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Wow. Amen. Do you see this, Father? Oh. Counselor, El Gabor. He's everything. Everything. Yeah. Eternal Father. See? Everything. A child is born. 
and the son is given. Two for the price of one. Oh, look at this, y'all. You see it, mother? Mm -hmm. A son is born and a child is given. A and the government, the see, is going to be up on his shoulders. He got to, he got to run, he's got to rule this all by himself. Angels can't do this. He got to do it. And how can he do it? So, so how can he do this? This, this baby to be born. How will he be able to do this? It says the government will be upon his shoulders. I mean, he's got to run it. He got to do everything. He's in charge of everything. He is God. That's how he can do it, Mother. Mm. Look at that. Wonderful. Counselor, mighty God, everlasting power. Yeah, but a lot of people didn't know this is his name, everlasting father. Amen. Prince of peace. I thought you say he had a father, Justin. He said, I and the father are one. That's what he said. <laughs> That's how he's everlasting power. Yeah. Amen. See? Uh, and Prince of Peace. He said, there will be no end. Read seven, uh, 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 Michelle. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end upon the throne of David over his kingdom yeah. to order it and establish it with judgment and justice. Amen. From that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Y'all see that? And these are not words of something, uh, uh, of something that the writer is hoping would happen. This is something that the Holy Ghost told him to write because it's going to happen. Yes, sir. I mean, this was this was in 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 motion the minute that that uh, Lucifer did what he did. This plan went into action. It wasn't something God had to think about. It, <laughs> both of them were, were, they existed all the while with him. And if he messed up like he did, then automatically this plan would go into action. What did we say in Proverbs 9 1? Wisdom. God doesn't have some wisdom, He is wisdom. He right. said, Wisdom has built her house. And he will now seven pillars. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a lesson that we could do off of that. The seven pillars of wisdom. And they're so beautiful. Once you go through them, Merle, to be able to see the, the heavenly side of what the scriptures have to offer to the people of God. But when you see somebody without spiritual understanding and they go in here and they, how could this be? How could so and so so and all that? The, I mean, you, they, they'll never get it. That's why he said, you must be born again. Huh? You must be born again. Yeah, but somebody said, well, you can be it if you want to, but if you don't, he won't stop you from getting Yeah, he will. Somebody said, read. But it ain't gonna read. It must be. Right. It must be. See, and then this what? It's only one way. Ain't no two ways. I thought it's always a two ways: a left and a right, a front, front and back. No, no. It's only one way in it. Yeah. It's his way, or no way. It's only one way. One way. And narrow is that path. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So he's a manual. According to this prophecy, he was born where? Bethlehem. Where can we find it, uh, Justin? Huh? What the prophecy or what you the just said? The fulfillment say. of the prophecy. The fulfillment of the prophecy is in um, we was just in um, Luke. Let's see. No. 
Go in the book of Micah. Micah. Yes, dear, yes. Uh huh. You see, once we can, once we can prove a point and bring it out in context, that's all you need. Five. In Micah, chapter five. Micah is after Jonah and before Nahum. In Micah, chapter five. Mother, read verse 1 and 2 for us. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Now gather thyself in truth, O daughter of truth. He have laid side against us. He have laid siege. It means to overtake. Against us shall smite the judge uh -huh. of Israel. With their water upon his cheek. Go ahead. But thou, Bethlehem. But you, Bethlehem. But thou, Bethlehem. Ephrathah. Ephrathah. Though thou be no among the thousands of Jews, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be a ruler of Israel, whose going forth. How can this be talking about a, a, a man? That ain't talking about a man. <laughs> man's going forth are not talking about a last name. A man's going forth. His going forth will be, what did it say, man? From old, it is all the way back to the first day, to everlasting. It'll never cease. Huh? Nope. That he would be ruler over Israel. Yes. Now, where do Gentiles come into the picture on this? Y'all come on, get with me now. So, Sandra, you mighty quiet now. How do Gentiles come into the picture on this? Write this down. You need to re read Romans. Chapter 9, chapter 10, and chapter 11. That Paul will show you how the Gentiles became Israel and they are in this number. Notice someone is saying, I want to be in that number. Come on, y'all. Gentiles is in the number. You ain't gonna find it back here in 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 Micah or Isaiah, right. but you'll find it in Romans because the God, the Lord, give it to Paul to bring it in the New Testament. And so I got to read all of chapters. Three chapters, nine, ten, eleven. I got to read all of chapters. Yes, sir. So, so uh, no, because you're not gonna tell. Me. Yes, ma'am. Exactly what he tells. <laughs> Chapter 9. Chapter 10. Chapter 10. Chapter 11. Chapter 11. You got it. I got it. <laughs> because the statement that was made, Mel, if you remember, it was all of Israel will be saved. Oh, come on, y'all. <laughs> huh? Now, that's the way it says, Pocky. It don't, it don't say Jews and Gentiles right there. But it does say all of Israel will be saved. See? So if all of Israel will be saved, that's everyone who belongs to what? To God. To God. And so we all belong to God, so that's how come the Gentiles. But, but you have to. You have to. Yeah. 
But he said, no more will we be named this. But now we will be Israel. Israel is not just in the Old Testament. Israel is in the New. Wherever God is, Israel is there. There you go. Yeah. See? And so we ought to feel good about that. Ain't that right? Amen. All right, now go in Luke chapter 2 right quick, and we're wrapping it up. Okay, well, Luke chapter 5, we ain't read down there, Michael. Yeah, we did. We read, we read what I wanted to read. We read a couple of verses there. Yeah, it's talking about Jesus. Verse 1 and 2. I wanted you to see that. Okay, so now we're going to The government will be upon his shoulder. Okay, okay, pal. See, it, the, the scripture is suspended. It's not a book of, of A, B, C, D, F, G, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 9. You, you have to go over here and get some. You have to go there and get some. You got to search the scriptures. Ain't that what it say? He said, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are the scriptures that testify of the Lord. We got to search the scriptures. And that's what study is all about. Luke chapter 2. Get it? Say amen. amen. You ain't got what? Huh? Why? Because I asked with somebody else. Okay, in Luke chapter 2, shall read verse 1 and 2. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be, should be registered. Okay. This census first took place while... Serenus. Uh -huh. Serenius. Okay. <laughs> Say what? Is, is yeah. That's the uh, place. Uh-uh. This, 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 this is a man. Okay. This is his name. Yeah. Yeah. Serenius the governor. Oh, you thought it was a place? No, I'm, no. I, no, I'm going by the way you pronounce it. Serenius. How did I, I pronounce it the way it is? His name is Serenius. Oh, well, what did somebody say? Paul Maul and Pell Mel. It's, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's got a, a hissing sound to it. Serenius. What, what was the, what was the man that carried the cross for Jesus? What was his name? No, it wasn't no Joseph. Where you get that from? What was the man name that, that brought the cross? Simon. Simon of what? Serene. Serene. Same way. But again, my mm -mm. No, but this ain't that. Okay, but I still got a Bible too, and mine is spelled differently. So it's not. How's yours spelled? It's spelled Q U I R N. So it's. Q U R I N? Q U I. How would you spell I have New King James. Yeah, see, we got King James, so we got a different, yeah. And Ramim, I think your time is up, I believe. I go to midnight if y'all. We already know that. We know that already. Oh, I love it. I mean, when you start to get deep like this, I mean, this is some good stuff, you know. Yeah, and, 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 and then you never know, you may leave church and meet someone on your job, on, in in your neighborhood, in your building, some, and they ask you a question about something. That could be a life and death thing. You know what I mean? To them. They need to know this, Justice. No matter what happened, they got to find out. They talk to many people no one could answer. Come to mind, and the Lord bless them to come to you. And boy, when you get to him, I mean, he just... <sighs> Come down like a little baby. It blesses him so. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But but in, in Leah Bible it's it's spelled different. What what you say, Leah? Q U what? Q U I R Just did you get it? I U S. Okay. Next week we're gonna pick it up at uh 
the death of Jesus. Yeah. We done came all the way through his life somewhat. Now we're going to deal with the beauty of his death. And the beauty of his death, mother, five, three, five yeah. things okay, so happened you say we when, we yeah. when he died. You said it's five yeah. things. That five happened. things that we're going to study that happened that come out of his, his dying. A-T-H. Yeah. Okay, so the death you, of what Jesus. What you say? We got to start when you come back where? <laughs> We're going. I didn't say the scripture. Oh, okay. We're going in the book of Philippians, chapter two. Okay. But but uh, uh, the 